Hello and happy Saturday, my friends. It's Simone with a Journal With Me video in my Hobonichi Weeks. And this is the very last video that I filmed before I moved. And then I did not journal for a very long time. I am using these stickers that my friend Katarina, she is an old friend of mine, old in... Um, inverted commas. Is that what you call it? Wow. English, the English language is hard. Um, I met her when I was pregnant with my oldest son, 16 and a half years ago. Well, 17 years ago then, because we met before we even gave birth. And yeah, so she sent me a little teeny tiny happy mail with stickers that she had been collecting for me for a while and these cute kitten heads as well as this um, clear sticker sheet was included. And then I'm using my Hobonichi cousin as a reference. I try to catch a snippet of my day. Well, not a snippet, just a really brief summary of my day. Not a snippet, which would be just one thing. Like I'm trying to capture my day in this in the squares of the monthly in the Hobonichi cousin. And it's big enough to actually get quite a good idea of how my day actually went. <clears throat> and then um, so I'm looking at that for reference and then I'm deciding what I want to put onto the the weekly spread of the cousin and I'm the weeks. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And then I'm I am using the weeks mainly for documenting and it's not a planner. It's just um, documenting. And since I am actually um, catching the in the moment items in the cousin, I don't have to be caught up in order to document because I know I have a place where I can quickly jot down the happenings of each day. And then when I feel up to it, I can document and be creative in the weeks. Um, the sticker sheet was really, really cute and it worked super well with all the things that happened. Um, I was surprised at how this actually turned out because in the beginning I was going to be very colorful and use uh, all the different watercolor colors, but it ended up being just yellow. <clears throat> uh, I, I don't think um, I have done this before. Um, that I was just using one specific watercolor um, and I really like it. So, oh, I did actually, haha, -ha, just kidding, um, two weeks before that. So I will actually link, link that video up above in the cards. I did the same thing with a dark blue. <clears throat> and so, yeah, um, I can, even though I'm trying to do I'm using the same supplies most of the time. I'm using my watercolors. I'm using uh, a Muji pen with a 0 0.5 um, thickness and I'm using the weeks and I'm using a small batch of supplies. I'm challenging myself to use um, one Happy Mail stuff from each of my friends each week. Um, still seems to be changing um, a lot. In in the beginning when I started, I was, I, I used all the watercolor colors. Every day was a different color. Um, I was only creating on the left side or writing on the left side of this, of the double page spread and then um, creating and having um, some kind of collage on the, on the right side. And in the past weeks, it has spread across both pages. Um, so yeah, it is changing and I'm, I'm curious to see um, when I continue working in this, which I'm planning on actually doing today, how this evolves further, if I'm going to go back um, and creating some spreads that, that are similar to the way it was before. Yeah, it is a very fun project 
However, I still do need to rethink if this is something I want to continue in 2022. Which I'm lucky, it's only May, so I still have a little bit of time to think about. Um, it's definitely something that is the creative project that, that I reach for least. And if I wouldn't do a weekly video that keeps me accountable, then I probably wouldn't reach for it at all. Um, and so I really need to rethink if that is what I want to do. That sounds really strange, right? I am using YouTube um, as my ac accountability partner, which is, I'm, I'm really lucky that I started doing this again, because I'm not sure I would be still doing doing this. And <laughs> to be honest, so this was the last the last spread that I did before the move and since I moved I only did one spread. Every time I may I do a voiceover, I am super inspired to hop back in. Um but then I have my cousin. I have the um happy mail that I at the moment really, really truly enjoy making. Um that this always gets pushed to the back and then it is Friday and I don't have done anything um, and haven't caught up. So I still need to catch up all the weeks in March and April and now we're all already done with the first two weeks. It's May 8th, the first week of May. So yeah, so in in order to be able to to actually maintain this, I would probably need to catch up two weeks each week in May so that I'm, I'm closer to, to where we are right now. But every time I'm sitting there and I'm making it and every time I'm um, f recording a voiceover, I'm really just, I love how this turns out. So maybe I need to cut back on other journaling things. Who knows? Again, lucky I am I don't have to decide right now so what happened that week it feels like uh, a lifetime ago and next week you will see um, the first week of March when I was still thinking everything was fine and on that Sunday so March 7th we signed the new lease for this house that we are living in right now um, and it turned everything upside down nothing went as I had planned just the week before so um, what I the way I created this spread was that I um, looked at the whole week and I actually had to cut out me sitting there and just looking at what what was happening that week I, I read through each of the blurbs and then I decided which of these items stood out most to me that I wanted to write them in watercolor. And so I, I usually write one thing each day in watercolor and then create the spread around it. I look at the stickers and look if any of the stickers fit with what was happening during the day. And then I add in the stickers as well as the writing as I go. That Monday really started off on a bad um, start. We had a call out at work and so we, I started stressed out. But then the week went, got inc increasingly better. Um, I have a second job where I learned some new things. Um, I had lunch with my friend Maria after a work meeting. And then I read the book Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne. And I actually just took the days, the day off, um, kind of. I just didn't do any any of the things that I had planned to do and kept reading. It was super fun to read. So if you haven't read it, I highly recommend um, checking it out. You don't really have to buy if you're a member of a library. Um, I really like getting books through my local li library and nowadays with Libby 
and um, all of those electronic ways to be able to read a book. You don't even have to go to the library to read the hardcover. You can you can read on your Kindle, which is so much lighter and so much easier to read when you're in bed. Just saying. Um, then I, my friends, or actually I think it was only April. In February, uh, April from Penguins Creative started out doing Twitch streams and I checked hers out that day on the 25th. Oh my gosh, and it's such a nice way to experience community, even though it's just in the chat while the cre creator is creating live. But it's still, it, um, especially now when you we d just don't get to see each other as often or not at all, um, this is a really nice way to hang out with planner friends. So I worked on Happy Mail and I did, I wore, I decided to wear stuff that I usually don't wear, which I actually, maybe I should do that today as well. Um, I want to be more expressive with the way I'm, I'm dressing. I'm, I'm the person who wears sweatpants and a t-shirt all day long. Um, but maybe I sh which it doesn't really represent how I'm feeling. <laughs> I should, um, and I wrote it down, I'm wearing my soul on the outside and I should totally do that, do more of that because it felt really great. I, I loved um, how the Saturday turned out. It kind of like is um, a little tiny story of how our day went. We, there's a tree, we went hiking on Baylands Nature Preserve. Then we went to have ice cream at Saltenstraw. And then we went climbing. And then we had takeout for dinner. And that was just such a nice way and great way to refresh and re, re what? recharge our souls. And that kind of wraps it up. I do have a tiny small announcement to make. I started a Kofi account where I hope to bring you a bit more content. Um, I'm, I really think that Instagram isn't the best place to share uh, more information about each photo, more behind the scenes, more explanation on why I did things more explanation on the creative process and I hope to be able to fill that gap through Kofi. Um, everything is free. There's no charge to be a member. Um, you don't have to pay. Um, but I would love to invite you to come on over and hang out over there with me. Become a subscriber so you don't miss out on any of the extra content that I put up on there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye!